Here at home, they are small, but they're a huge threat to the San Antonio River ecosystem. Apple snails. These creatures invaded the river and several were pulled out during, of the water during when the river walk was drained recently. RJ Marcus tells us how many snails were removed and gives us a closer look at other invasive species found living in the river. As you can imagine, there are all sorts of things living and non-living in the San Antonio River, but the recent discovery of the apple snail caused all sorts of problems. The snails come all the way from South America and can grow up to six inches. Biologists tell us they are voracious eaters, so they eat any sort of native aquatic plants taken away from our native Texas snails. San Antonio River Authority officials first found out about these guys last October. Their presence is often indicated by bright pink egg sacs that can contain thousands of individual eggs. River Authority staff removed 79 egg sacs from the Riverwalk on October 31st and realized they had to act quickly to relocate the snails and keep our native fish and plants alive. Uh, the aquatic plants are vital to the food web. They create uh, nursery habitat for fish. They're just super important for the, the total assemblage. During this month's river walk draining, the River Authority found and removed 105 apple snails and they will continue to monitor their presence. So how did they end up in the river in the first place? It's actually a pretty simple explanation. You can readily find these at a PetSmart or Petco. So somebody almost definitely bought it for their aquarium, got too big, and so they dumped it into the river. And it turns out the snails were not the only species removed from the river. River Authority teams dispatched more than 1,400 non-native fish, including 355 suckermouth catfish and 401 tilapia. They also found and removed two dozen scooters in the museum reach area, all in an effort to keep the San Antonio River safe and clean for everyone to enjoy.